What's up guys, this is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as Persia. In this episode, um, the Venetians did not like the Persians as new neighbours and they have attempted, or they would like to come out and attack us. So we are on the defensive here, however they only have an enormous army of conscripts. Let's beat them back. Um, but I'm not going to rush to take Patras. Once the battle is over we're probably going to take a slower, more methodical approach taking advantage of the peace we have with the Ottomans, or the, the current temporary peace we have with the Ottomans, to get some upgrades to my economy done. Because right now we have a lot of low tier buildings, I want to upgrade things, particularly roads. Uh, I want to improve the maneuverability within the borders of my empire. Um, okay, I, I want this land. This piece of terrain here. So the guns are going to follow. In, the guns are going to follow behind. We're going to bring up a block of Kizilbashi to take it. Have two blocks of two blocks of infantry on either flank to get ready to adjust to where the enemy reinforcements are going to come in from. And then our melee infantry are going to be behind the entire line was in the rear. Okay, great. So we want this terrain piece. We want to get our guns up on the high ground. We want bias our melee troops towards where the enemy cavalry are. Okay, these troops can push up and cover the very edge of the of our line. These Israeli and Feline can just hold the right. Spare unit of Feline, just hold. Enemy guns are firing. Once we get into position though, our fire by rank the fire by rank from Kizobashi going to be is going to be unstoppable. running into position. Oh, just make sure nothing weird or stupid's gone on. Mr. Rayleigh cease, cease maneuvering. Bring the camels up. Feline Musketeers are here as well. Give them a volley and see them off. Excellent. Let's maybe make this infantry sit on the flank. With you. General, get up here. Guns and limber. Okay, if we can get our get our right flank set up, we'll definitely be able to sweep them off. Okay, so the, my guns are going to focus on the enemy artillery and the provincial cav behind them. Provincial cab came back, they're probably going to. Yeah, there they go. You can charge into us if you like, my camels will make short work of you. Okay, let's turn their flank. Camels scare enemy horses. There we go. We've shattered their horses. No. Nope. Stay away. 
Don't bump into them. There you go, they're scurrying back all across our front. They can't handle us. Yeah, you better run. Cavalry's coming in. So we know the enemy reinforcements are coming in from back here. Oh, there's been a provincial cavs came in and hit my guys. Yeah, let's push their flank. Melee infantry should probably have been committed before now, but take the positions. There you go. It says they're winning, but now the camels are here. The original cow's going to get mown down. Charging it. Maybe you'll get yourself patriotic. Let's take the higher ground. Get my musketeers out of the fight. There you go. Lots of the enemy have returned. My gunners. Bombard. Let's see some of these blocks of enemy troops. Get reloading, pour fire into the enemy. Scoot the Kurdish hillmen up. Any conscripts on the right? They're standing toe to toe with us. Well, they were. Oh, enemy skirmishes in the woods, in the in the uh, darkness. The Kurdish hillmen opening up on the conscripts. Push my camels up to this unit here. Push my line up to something more like this. Yet yeah, they are falling back in all directions. Gunners, retarget. See your aiming units. The units too close. The terrain's no bueno. Scripts coming in. Okay, let's make our gunners just attack here. Just keep lobbing shots in here. Okay, let's. let's I can't quite do that. Do a 
mow down that unit of conscripts once they're cleared out. Excellent. The left flank has been beat back. Push it forward. You guys aren't getting any use back here, so let's cut that corner off. So you actually hit a bunch, hit a unit before you even entered the field. Push forward slowly, keep, or just keep constricting. Just keep bolstering the defenses of some of these units as well. Because the conscripts are still coming. reload we might be might be more efficient to have Kizobashi musketeers in here with the current formation but we are the we are where we are oh god reload kill him oh. bodyguards been taken out Everybody engage the 12th regiment at the back. So they're about to rout. So we can just uh, knock them out. Look at that. Look at that. Bottleneck right there. good blockade effectively on the enemy you men can cease fire you've done a sterling job and everybody let's keep slamming shells in somewhere around here now Everybody's getting into position. Pretty sure that might be the last unit of conscripts they're bringing into the fight. And yep, a lot of them have routed. Just goes to show, mass numbers of cheap units can be incredibly ineffective. Or ineffective. Oh no, here comes a unit. to the field anymore yeah, there is more but they are they are getting picked off keep hammering shots home there just speed this up now because ultimately the end is near might push you forward Maximise the shots being brought to bear. First Regiment of Militia Conscripts. Marching into a Persian kill box. <laughs> the end of you. <laughs> Close victory. I think not, good sir. Nice.
a lot of good damage. So yeah, we're not going to worry about um, pushing in and killing them as fast as we can. We want to take advantage of the temporary peace and get some upgrades built. Oh, rebellion in Turkey. Let's see if we can just annihilate them with the garrison. Block. Nice. Always good. Okay, get back to Istanbul. Batman in Anatolia. Let's give you a coffee house to help offset the university. You men are going to pick up these cavalry. Then you're going to push down to the port. You're going to be combined with this army here. And then you're all going to sail to Trincomalee. Where we can conduct operations against the Marathas in the future if we need to. Um... Okay, so what I want to start doing is I'm going to upgrade one road and one port every turn. Then here in Istanbul, let's get Kozani into a madrasa. Get a sloop up to Thessaloniki. Let's get some of these farms repaired. Let's upgrade the port in Heracleon. Then here in Athens. Can we get, an, get a Sultan's Observatory anywhere else? Somewhere it might be a bit easier to... You know, somewhere it might be a bit easier to get a um, an, an agent to a university in a reasonable amount of time. We've built one new one in Ankara. Kandahar's got a craft workshop and the Albab cotton plantations are booming, although they are still only producing meagre yields. 13,000 a turn. That's really big. Cool. Yeah, my agents continue to push forward. The Mughals seem to be doing okay. I don't think I need to worry about giving them extra support in the short term. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that, Poland. Um, I'm... Yeah, it's only a matter of time before the Ottomans declare war on me again. But I'm hoping that with the loss of these territories, they will start to suffer from attrition as they are unable to pay wages. That's what I'm hoping happens. Meanwhile, Venice will... We'll probably have to go for a few more rounds of action against Venice. I'm not even necessarily sure I want to attack Venice the city yet, because I want to keep the Balkans quite militarised. You get into Belgrade. Separation of powers has been researched, which is good. Now they're onto the rights of man. So we can start to build modern universities. I know we need... Right, I know. Sorry. We've done separation of powers. Now we're on to rights of man. Uh, Konya is on with our naval technologies, which is good. Cars in Armenia. Okay, let's first of all upgrade Konya's... Konya to a college. Upgrade Baghdad's roads. Upgrade Baghdad's port. Good. Works on strike in Romelia. That should go away once we re-garrison the city. Good. Replenish this army. Replenish this army. It's not enough, but we're in, we're in reasonably good shape. We are just going to lay siege to Patras. Athens is growing. Things are going. Things are okay. Can we trade with anybody we aren't trading with? No, we're not. We're trading with lots of people. And our, despite our, our sultans are a bit of a pain in the backside, our government is really good. So, I think after the, after Konya researches the sextant, I want them to go for naval shore facilities, and then I want Konya to become a naval research centre of excellence. So I want to start upgrading my naval production. You man, infiltrate 
Sofia. And then I want another agent to infiltrate Sarajevo and understand what's going on here. Ultimately, once we take, if we take out the Ottomans, we might come into war with the Austrians, which I don't really want. But take, you've got to take life as it comes at you, not in the way that you would like it to. Okay, you're on your way. A few turns, we'll be able to recruit a ship to take you to Trincomalee. And that's all pretty good. Trincomalee will add in some uh, tea production to our empire, which will be pretty nice. But yeah, really, before I get too embroiled in European wars, I want to boost my navy. I mean, the only way we can do that well, is through turns and turns of research. Kamikaze Barbaries are at it again. Oh no, actually, they might have actually killed the ship in the Genoan ship protecting their port. Okay. Ashashin in Greece. Good. Let's get you into Sarajevo. Agent recruited. Scholar in Baluchistan. Oh, you're so far away. Let's get you into Kermansha. Upgrade Kermansha into the next level. Um, uh, school, research building. Don't know why I forgot why, why it slipped my mind. Upgrade the roads in Ardabil. Upgrade a port in Damascus. So we've researched explosive shells. Now we're on to carcass shot. I don't think... Ooh. I don't think I'm as bothered about carcass shot. Because the problem is we can't get howitzers. We can get better artillery. But we've got 12 pounders and we're not really using them very well as it is. So Comanche might go for socket bayonet. To get the military academy and allow us to research better units. I think that's how it's going to be. Economically we're okay. We've got more things to upgrade than we have capacity to <laughs> than we have capacity to actually do. Uh, let's you men keep reinforcing the rest of your army. Okay, three thousand six hundred. Could do worse than start recruiting a fifth rate a turn as well. Twenty four hundred. Yeah, that, we can upgrade some. Okay, start to upgrade some government buildings as well now. Our income's slowly creeping up. Let's try and get trade with the Ottomans again. Good. Trade with Spain? Nope, they don't like us one bit. Not a problem. So at least with Trincomalee, that can be our springboard for um, operations overseas into pirate lands. Uh, you want three technologies for one of yours? No. Not going to do that, Poland. Okay, they might be suffering from bankruptcy because lots of their units are showing as depleted for the Ottomans. That's really good for us. the Portuguese fleet. Pirates are going to pirate. I think that we will be taking some pirate territories from our base in Ceylon. Okay, so you're going to go try and infiltrate Sarajevo. This agent is going to try and infiltrate Ayasi. Then we'll have an intelligence web across the entire Ottoman Empire. Okay, let's upgrade roads in Ankara probably is the most important one next. Very poor, very poor, very poor. I think you, you're, yeah, prosperous. Upgrade you. Okay, 
Okay, let's recruit a... Actually, I think I've got... Yeah, I can spare a fifth rate from this fleet. Then we will re we will recruit a fifth rate there, and we'll recruit a fifth rate here. Let's move the light galley out. Let's get you to attack Trincomalee. Nice. Okay, we're 8,000-ish. Okay, yeah, let's upgrade some civil administration buildings when we've got, as we've got a good chunk of change. Yerevan, you can build a craft workshop. If you're already converting to Islam. Nice. It's really good. Then we'll upgrade the madrasa in um, Istanbul. One more turn till the next town develops here. So you could build that into university, but we've got three, and three is plenty. Okay. Agents are on the way. I think once we, if we take Trincomalee, we can recruit Indian troops, which will be quite interesting. Hindu musketeers aren't terrible, and then we can start to, yeah, send some ships out to attack uh, the pirate territories in the Caribbean and add some sugar production to our empire as well. Uh, I'm not going to give you any technology, Ottomans, although they're only unfriendly with us now. They used to be hostile. I think we might be in a position where we, we might want to start recruiting another army in the Balkans, really. You can attack our economy if you like, it doesn't matter. Not bothered by such trivial things. Although it probably will hurt our economy quite a bit, but... 11,000. Still pretty good. Scholar in Persia. You go to Tehran. Imam in Georgia. Perfect. Yeah, because you need to go to Haki. Newtown emerges. Skopje in Rumelia. So you'll be a craft workshop. Kut in Mesopotamia. You will be... Is that your last town? No, you've got one more town. Okay. We'll upgrade you to an industrial building. And then the last town that develops will become a uh, happiness building just to prevent them from getting too upset. Okay, so you upgrade a road. You upgrade the port. Bithrate. Haladi. Yeah, I'm not going to get involved in a single ship action. Okay, me if you like. You're going to bring us into war next turn. Race built galleon. Okay. Oh no, we will be attacking Trincomalee first turn. Yeah, let's fight it. But we're not going to be able to repair the any of the buildings till next turn. Which will be a shame. But, yeah. I think we the basic approach of upgrading roads and ports every turn is going to bear fruit. I mean, the long term, I think we do. I need to be a bit more aware of the short term. Because when war with the Ottomans happens, I think they're allies with the Marathas. So potentially, if war happens between us we could be not in trouble but we might have to commit to war in the Indian Ocean okay my melee troops are going to sweep through the town then my 
range troops are going to stick to the periphery where their firepower can be of most use. And my cavalry are going to bounce around depending on where is the best position. Okay, let's push you guys then up. Here. We're gonna walk. We're not going to march. We're not going to run. My general out on the left. Bajir infantry, Hindu musketeers not overly bothered about any of their infantry really so they are advancing towards the town eh they want to defend the town are you going to garrison the town hall doesn't look like it Skirmish cavalry smash into that armed populace unit to take a bit of offensive, show a bit of a defensive spirit. Pelayin attack the rebels, same with them. There we go, slaughter. Then he might only be skirmish cavalry, but that'll do. It's raining, we've got sound shun again. So this pike unit's gonna go around and try and flank the Hindi musketeers. I mean this is let's give you guys an order just to run to the exact opposite edge of the map. Okay, the new men. Focus on the Bajir infantry. Because they're here in a big block. Wavering, shaken. Well, I mean, attack the rebel. Attack the rebel populace. You men attack the musketeers. Artillery still firing. We're overwhelming them with cavalry numbers here. So if we can break them, that'd be pretty tasty. Because then we can steamboat into the. By a lock arm populace. Hindu musketeers are getting surrounded, but they aren't surrounded. Okay, let's maybe pull the general's bodyguard out of there. My fella are going to slice and dice these armed populace. They're going down, but they're not surrounded, so they're gonna, it could potentially last for a while. Send my general's bodyguard into the back of the Biolarcon populace to try free up the Felaheen. Swords held high. There we go. Pikemen go for Bajir Lancers. No, my general! Again, you are. At some point, I kind of want my generals to die because later military buildings allow me to build a general that's on elephants rather than horses. Come on, hack them down. Pikemen go for the lancers, you men just go for the enemy infantry. Killed the enemy general. Their lances are just going to get going to melt against my pikes. An enormous wave of troops are chasing down the enemy infantry here. Oh, 
all of my infantry, even my musketeers that haven't had an opportunity to fight. Push forward, even barring your bows as you go. You are. Oh no, you chase the lancers off with bow fire. Blank around. Ah, didn't even get in. But they caught them while they were retreating. So I lost a gallant general, a gallant officer. But I don't think it's going to impact our empire, our conquest that much. Nah, the general did not survive. Congratulations, horsemen. We have a new commander. So we're going to get rid of the weaver's cottage, replace it with a um, madrasa, and start to get some start to get some uh, Islamic religion going on over here. But you can see I can recruit um, Royal Indian Guards, Hindu Warriors, Hindu Musketeers here, and Kizilbashi Cavalry as well. Nice. Okay. Let's hit enter. My agents are all in position. The enemy are moving. It's another reason why I'd like a reasonable navy. We could potentially shut down the, Mara the um, Ottoman's ability to move troops around the map. That would be nice. The Mughals keep trying to steal Russian tech. I think this must be the turn that um, must be the turn that Venice. Yeah, there we go. Defending against the garrison. Of Patras, the armies to the west are not getting involved. So what I'd like to do is take Patras and see if I can make peace with Venice as a result. Because I don't taking the city of Venice is useful, but it's a bit of a well, it's kind of useful, but it's a bit of a lightning rod for future um, conflict. Because all the bordering territories will be that much more inclined to hate me. Whereas what I want is some peace and stability for my new empire. There we go. Swarm, swarm, swarm. Attack Pattern Alpha. They're on the defensive, but I just don't care. slightly wrong and it means I got no order at all. My guns are opening up. Push the melee troops forward. Get into fisticuffs if you like. My infantry are more than capable of dealing with a provincial cavalry unit. Push these guys in just to try and get the, the combat done sooner.
that's what I want, is for my cavalry, my infantry line to storm up like so. Good. Camels up to the rear. Bellaine, hold. These men don't really have a purpose. Oh, look how nonchalant they are. Suddenly, oh jeez. by rank kicks in. Mortars are still firing. But we have gained victory on the flank. But let's start the manoeuvre. Right flank wrapping around quite nicely as well. There we go. So it begins. Kill them all. Shattered. Good. Push forward. Oh, dang. Pikemen. Kill those conscripts. So this is the centre of their strength. But we've got fire by rank. They don't have any advanced firing drills. So we'll be able to put out a ridiculous amount of firepower. These conscripts charged our line. But these men are elite. These men are veterans. They've been engaging in war for many, many, many years. General Bodyguard is committed. Reform your line. Get these camel nomads over here to attack the attack the um, artillery conscripts are going down to these fellows with really pointy sticks except for this guy he died what about you how about you now they're starting to go down Push up. Kill those mortars. Gunners engage that unit of conscripts. Ah, fair play to these conscripts. They last a lot longer than I thought they were. Do like pikemen in this game. Kill the demi cannons. Gunners engage that unit of citizenry. Okay, right now we need to start splitting up our forces ever so slightly. Chase down the knife. Concerned because of friends routing. Yes, I would understand that. And one of their very few units of actual line infantry on the field. Engage. Okay, we're just going to surround this infantry unit. Well, 
where it looks like they are going to break before that happens. Yep, there they go. Otherwise we would have gone whoop and had a nice little kill box. Nice, very nice indeed. So the territory should collapse. Doesn't look like we're going to get any um, precipitous collapses of other European powers. So, Patras is ours. What about what say you, Venice? Peace, and I'll offer you carbines. How about that? Eh? Ah, fine. Just go knock out that ship. There's an opportunity to capture it, but don't really need to worry about that right now. Just want to free up the ports. Repair them, and then this general just auto resolve the engagement of the rest of the units on the bottom of the Balkans, because we don't really need to worry about that. Taking them out. Okay, cool. So, now, I'll probably want to take these Feline and use them to top up everybody else's unit. So you men can replenish. You're going to garrison the city. Repair it. Knock down Corinth. You're going to call up a 12th pounder. We've got a Here's our bash unit that we can use to reinforce the army here. 7,400. Repair the port. Oops, cancel my own repairing. Candy. Let's get a madrasa. Let's upgrade the plantations. Actually, no. Let's not upgrade the plantation yet. Don't worry about the roads. Because... We still have our pledge. Have we got any cheap road upgrades we can get? Cheap road upgrade paired with a cheap port upgrade will be super. Good. We've lost a trade agreement with the Ottomans again, so I'm going to keep, keep going with it. We can trade with the Marathas if we want to, and because the Mughals have a consolidating power we're going to do it just to try and keep the civil war going so lots of successful missions lots of good things have been constructed we've got visibility over the entire ottoman empire now which is great so Sarajevo shrinking, Belgrade shrinking, Sofia shrinking, and Iasi is shrinking. So yeah, their empire is in rapid decline. Which means it may make them prone to some rash decisions. Yeah, I don't think there's any surprises in the Americas. At least now we should have our... Now our ports are open, we should be able to keep growing. But yeah, I think it's, I think it's very much worthwhile to trade with the Marathas just to try and keep the civil war going for as long as possible because until when when the civil war stops that's when potentially one of the sides elects to make war against us <laughs> barbara states came in in mass okay pirates are gonna pirate 
18,000. Awesome. Good construction. All of our agents have been successful in their missions. Okay, upgrade the roads in Jerusalem and upgrade the port in Alexandria. It's so, oh, so much potential for money making. Upgrade Corinth to a madrasa. There's the guns coming in to reinforce this army. I'm going to upgrade Konya to a traditional, traditional university and upgrade the coffee house to a Turkish bath to try and keep. Yeah, because that will make you upset. But when in Sinop, or well, Sinop's poor, that's not going to immediately help us. Let's upgrade to a drill school in Istanbul to get some Kizilbashi infantry. Let's start to recruit some extra troops in Athens. We're gonna event I mean you can see them moving around, you know they want they want war. Okay, let's keep the Ships going. Let's upgrade our mine, steam pump, iron mine. One more turn to socket bayonet, and that'll get us the military academy, which gets us native lancers and the general's bodyguard with elephants on. Very nice indeed. Okay. It is only a matter of time for the Ottomans to clear on us again. You know what, Poland? Yes. Let's help you out. That's right, and the more troops you recruit, the more you the more you'll lose more men. Ooh, the Maratha's gonna go pick up an army and attack overseas. Ah, oh, the landing behind the Mughal lines. Will our trade tip the balance against the <laughs> against the Mughal Empire? Hmm. Very curious. Did we could say and attack Venice, but I don't want to move that army out of the Balkans, because if the Ottomans come after us we need to we'll need to um strike quickly and aggressively. So you've got socket bayonet. You've gone on to wedge formation, which I don't mind. Okay, Ceylon has you've got your madrasa, so now you are gonna start converting. Good. Recruit a few more troops in Athens. Okay, Rhodes and... I suppose we ought to focus on the cheap port upgrades to maximise efficiency. Okay, good. You're ready. You'll be ready soon. The Ottomans are... To Keep cancelling our trade agreement. One day they're going to cancel it and we're not going to be able to get it back. I think the problem is they want to cancel it because they don't want to suffer any negative diplomatic penalties for being at war with a trade partner. But the problem is, is they need the money. So every time you come back and go, are you sure you don't want to trade? They go, ah, okay. <laughs> and then they trade with us. Okay, let's upgrade the Bay's Mansion in Tbilisi. Let's probably upgrade. First of all, we are exporting all of our tea, so let's upgrade the tea plantation to a large tea plantation. Oh, sorry, I just yanked my microphone with my leg. 
Oh, agent detected. Yeah, they found us. Two thousand four hundred. Okay. Let's make this ship be our admiral, Niccolo Asimani, former um, former Venetian captain. Yeah, there's no. France has got quite strong. Britain's Britain. They'll last forever. The Dutch still alive. For Danish still alive. Sorry for now. Prussia is in. They're, they're in a tricky spot. Poland's doing okay. Yeah, no, there aren't any major European powers now that look like they're going to fall on the bones of their backside. Unless, of course, things like the US start to develop. Which I'm not sure how likely that's going to be. A okay, Bill of Rights. Rights of Man are going to develop so we need to upgrade the Modern University and the Grand Admiralty to the Naval Board. Next turn. Keep our technological superiority steamrolling forward. Oh yeah, they're up to something. They are so up to something. Ooh, the Mughals have taken a made a bad, and they've taken Eugene. Right, let's cancel trade with them. <laughs> or, or they're allied with the Ottomans. Do we attack the Ottomans and see if they back them up? Because we have to fight the Ottomans at some point anyway. Ah, oh, they've shot my agent in Nyasi. First of all, Istanbul, get a naval board. So, diplomacy, Marathas, cancel trade agreement. Yeah, they, they don't like us for doing that. Okay, you can get 12 pounders. Get a bit of support. Then we may attack Arkot. Because Arkot is an incredibly valuable region for the Marathas. It's currently garrisoned by mercenaries. But if we take Arkot, are they actually allied with... They're allied with Mysore, so they can make their way through Mysorean territory, but this could be useful. Unless we attack Ahmedabad and get a frontier position just to keep pushing. Or do we attack across the sea? Hmm. Options, 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 options. We've not got a... It's got five fifth rates. This is not naval. This isn't enough naval superiority for me to win the battle because I suck. But the AI could potentially do it. And if we did that, they've got a they've got a pocket of strength on the west coast. They've got a pocket of strength on the west coast, and they've got these guys on the east. But they oh, look at all those guys. That's just a lot of chaff. Oh. Right, let's upgrade the dockyard. Let's upgrade Athens road network. And not Reyes, not Thessaloniki because it might get raided. Let's attack. Upgrade Heracleon. We're going to get up to the border.
then get something like that. Next turn, we might go for it. Don't have any ships in production, but we can recruit a sixth rate to try and tip the balance against this fleet and try and sink the fleet with the army on board. Because that's at full strength, but their army's pants. Okay, this could be could be it. We've not upgraded our university yet, but that's okay. Oh, oh right. We might not be able to... No, no we will be able to attack our cart. It's just going to be difficult. It's going to be tricky. Because mercenaries are good. We've not got much artillery. But I think if we... <laughs> what do you know? Call my allies in. Does the... No. The, Mur the Marathas didn't join them. Oh, where are you going? Very well. This is on. You can raid my territories if you like. I don't mind. Uh, no trade. Oh, they took a diaper as well. Okay, I might have to give the Mughals fire by rank to help restore balance. In which case, because we're at war with the Ottomans, we're not at war with the Ottomans. No, bleh, bleh. we're at war with the Ottomans, but not at war with the um, Marathas. We can carry on with our colonies expansion. The Shashin in Romalia, right. First thing you're going to do is try and kill one of these generals. Got him. Imam in Morea, which is great because you're going to... The Imam... Well, first of all, this small force is going to go up and attack Mustafa Siri. Just annihilate their little band. You men, march on Belgrade. You men, march on Sarajevo. Agent, push into Athens and begin converting the population there to Islam. This is this has caught us really flat-footed. Because what can I do about you? Start to raise raise units from nearby settlements. And then down here at Baghdad. Start to recruit infantry. Cavalry from Ankara that can move great speeds. I'm counting on their depletion getting worse, realistically. Um, this army is going to punch out and attack these men here. These armies. Lots of chaff in here. Um, but looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for a new war against the Ottomans. Cheers, everyone.